so that's that's the equivalent. So there's our answer. If we want to represent it in hexadecimal, first we put it in binary, and then after it's in binary, we are able to translate it or transfer it to the hexadecimal equivalent very easily. And uh, so I know I know what you're thinking now. You're thinking, well, can we go back? You know, and how how do we go back? And how we go back is uh, is uh, just as easy, if not easier. Um, you know, let's say we have the number uh, in hexadecimal. It is three uh, a six. Okay, well, to convert that to binary is one of the easiest things in the world now, because remember how we have the groups of four here? Well, we just look, okay, what is six in right here? We have our, our list of the hexadecimal equivalencies. Well, six hexadecimal is one in binary. It's equivalent to zero, one, one, zero. So there we go. That's all we do. So that's the binary equivalent of six. Now, A is, is one, zero, one, zero. So one, zero, one, zero. I just write that down. That's it. Three. Zero zero one one zero zero one one. And there we go. There we have the binary uh, translation right there of the hexadecimal numbers. That's it. Right away, we got it. Okay. Now that we have that, all we have to do is trans transfer it from binary back into our regular number system if we want to transfer it to decimal. So just as we have uh, done in the past, you just use this chart here and you just add them up. So zero on the one. We're going to use a 2, so 2. We're going to use a 4, 4. We're not going to use an 8. We will use, now here's the thing you got to be careful of. you got to keep going this way. So, for example, this number is going to be pretty large because it uses 12 bits here. See that? So these four are equivalent to these four right here, and the next four here will be these four here. The next four after that are going to be basically these four here, so also... 2 to the 10, 1,024, and 2 to the 11, 2,048. Okay, so then if I want to trans translate this, basically, 0, uh, 1, 1, 0 will be 2 plus 4. So this number is going to be equal to 6, okay? But we're going to put it in decimal now, so we have to add the others as well. So that's 2 and 4 for, those, for that part. This part here will be 32 um, and 128. Okay, and then this part here will be 256, because it's, it's 3, 256, plus 5, 12. And where I'm getting these is I'm just reading these off right here from the chart. The thing you have to be careful is you've got to make sure your columns are all right and the places are all right with the numbers are in. Okay, then you use this here, all right, to translate uh, the hexadecimal to binary equivalencies. All right, and with a combination of both of those, you can transfer any number from hexadecimal to decimal using a binary in the middle or you know decimal to to binary and even later if you have to do octal you can do the same thing basically um, by just uh, doing uh, doing it the same way you can put it in binary first and then put it in uh, octal afterwards and that's it so you just basically have to add these up I'm not going to do that for you because you know that's really easy and I'm sure you get the idea so this is uh, this is the process on how you have to uh, how you have to do that. So first, take your number, put it in binary. Always simplify it in binary. So you get it in binary, break it up, and there you go. All right, have a good one.